And here we are on the start line of the first of this afternoon's finals. We have got the under 16s mixed. Disappointingly, only three crews this year. However, it's a lot better than the two crews from Foy that we had last year. I don't mean in terms of quality row, I mean in terms of output from other clubs. So we've got Foy A here in Wolf on the near side. We have got Dart in Helford. And we have got Rain in Zorn. So last year, the, bronze, uh, the silver and the gold medal went to Foy. And already as this race sets off up into the tide, these kids are going to do the full course, which is absolute testament to them as proper hardcore. Um, and also a number of these uh, juniors will be rowing tomorrow at the Under-16 County Championships. As the drone sets off up into the sky, we'll be up above it in a minute. But as we look over, it looks like we've got Foy and Dart fighting it out for first and second at the moment. And we can see Zorn on the far side with Rain out the tide just tapping along. And Foy and Dart just eke out in front of Rame here. Pretty level at the moment though between Foy and Dart. This is a good race. You can see though that uh, both crews, Foy have really just settled into uh, what we'd really expect from a Foy crew <laughs> at this stage of the year, which is really highly technically competent rowing. You can really see that they um, get hold of it. And uh, we talked a lot about the uh, under 14s, about junior coaches really teaching kids how to row around the finish how to shape their body at the finish how to press the blade out nice and cleanly um, and that's what this four-week crew do really well and i think Foy now they're rating uh quite a lot under Helford here which we've got Dart in and you can just really see that they're really expecting in this race just to be able to uh, inch by inch open out over this Dart crew you can just see the Dart coxing now just using some hand signals just to sign to her crew perfectly okay with that and a junior crew just to help bring them back under control the shape of your hand can be really useful in mirroring what you want from a crew but we are probably now halfway up this first leg it's this first leg that's going to be tough for these kids because of the tide coming down the track and when they turn back but there is now a small bit of headwind now that these guys are going to have to contend with so we've got three under 60 mixed crews And as we zoom round on the uh, drone, Foy now, you can see, have just broken out to clear water. Their strategy of just rowing nice and long and loose has really, really worked. And I don't think now there's going to be much change in this race. And we're now probably halfway down the track. Foy now opened up to clear water. Dart in second. And Rame in third. I mean, one of the best things about this race is every single one of these uh, boats is going to pick up a medal. And I have to say they are banging medals this year. And I'm sure that there will be lots of uh, juniors at home, probably just watching for you at this moment in time. Maybe starting to get in their heads about tomorrow. If this is what a mixed can, cruise can, uh, can produce, I wonder what the fully fledged A crew can produce if it's not the fully fledged A crew. I've been told there's one change in it for tomorrow.
and we are now charging towards the sixth length marker I can't see a lot changing with this four-wheel crew at the moment they're perfectly in control of this race Roma Salcom boat Helford with the dark crew in second and unfortunately we've just lost Raym off the back of this race a little bit we will catch up with them in a moment just as we come to the sixth length marker where our umpires Justin and Steve have been doing a great job all day sat out here making sure that all the racing is fair And here we are at the sixth length marker. Wolf is given the mark with Foy. I don't think there's going to be any contesting that. Health for the uh, Dart are going to go round in second. There's probably about two lengths between them now. And they go around the boy, they knock it over, and they're back in together. And round Dart go. Oh, I thought we were going to get a bit of toss in there up in the bow of Dart. I thought she was going to be brave. Hopefully we see some tomorrow. Getting that oar up and over, getting that stroke side round. And then the rain crew are just going past the umpire boat now. They're probably four lengths away from that mark. But we've got all three of these junior crews doing a great job. I have to say, I think it's a real shame that there aren't more junior crews here. We might say that they're saving their energy for tomorrow, but we definitely have to put it on our calendar for 2025 that the under-16 mix is definitely a thing and that it's definitely a coveted medal that we want to pick up across the season. We can't be in a position if we're going to safeguard the future of our sport where we've got two crews entering this last year and three crews entering it this year. Unfortunately for me, that's just not quite sustainable. And so all clubs need to do their bit in encouraging their junior sections, but also getting them up here to race. Wolf have the mark on the second turn. And I think it's highly unlikely we're going to see any change. We're going to see this nice little kick from the tide just come up the stern of Foy. You never know, might kick some urgency into them, but I think they're more than happy with just tapping this race out, rowing really well. And actually, when you're rowing like this and you're out in front, it's where rowing is actually quite enjoyable. It's when you're in a neck and neck race and you've got no oxygen that it's not particularly great. But round go dart. Rain the halfway up this second leg. And again, we just see Foy being kicked by this little bit of tide. They now have to row into the headwind. Really important with the headwind that the bodies go back over the seat that they stay there, that the hands just are allowed to roll away and then the bodies just float up behind them. Not mechanically, but everything is done with rhythm with each other, with lots of fluidity. Lots of the kids in this four-wheel boat probably benefiting from rowing CRA with Polpero. And as we always say, some of the best rowers on the gig circuit have also come from the flashboat circuit as well. So if there is any club that is wanting to develop a junior section or is wanting to improve their rowing in their uh, junior section, then I would firmly uh, encourage you to get in contact with your nearest flashboat club uh, to see if you can connect up and we can get more kids into rowing fixed seat boats really, really well. Before we just going around this last mark now, they're going to be kicked by the tide. This wind has freshened now. It's a little bit stronger than the last time that we were up here. You've got Dart now, probably going to come round it in four lengths time. Raym are well past that second mark and they're going to be following up in third. Let's not forget though, even though that we have got a big blonde distance between this first boat and this last boat, they are still bronze medalists, Raym, and that is a massive achievement as well. County under 16 mixed champions, bronze winners.
and all the crews just make their way over to the trunket of yachts just to try and get out the wind just to try and make life easier for their crew slow and steady's one out here for for you today but it is really for all the junior coaches watching it is uh, a real exhibition in what junior rowing can look like um, and should be the standard that we hold ourselves to when we are coaching juniors um, and should be the standard that we are all aiming for with the rowing style that kids can achieve by the age of 16. Lots of cheering from Raym on the comments at the moment. We're, we're <laughs> with you. They're doing great. They've just come around that third term. Uh, the large majority of them are under 14. They are under 14, I've just been told, which probably makes this achievement that little bit more special. And uh, first time rowing a full course, full adult course as well. And so uh, that achievement can't go unnoticed. And so I'm sure all the adults on the bank will need to give all these kids as they walk up the gangway of the pontoon um, a massive cheer and the whole of Brunel Green probably needs to give them a massive cheer as they come down as well. Four are now halfway down this last leg. They've probably got about 250 metres till they hit Brunel Green. About 200 metres behind them is Dart and about 300 metres behind them is that rain crew. And so each crew now is going to try and row the boat to the best of their ability back over the line. This four wheel crew have not changed all the way round technical masterclass real excellence from them and you can really see that data along the right lines as well blade works nice and tidy you can see that they're mirroring that trying to get the length of the bodies going into the bow and so as always with junior rowing it's taking every single race as a learning experience Yes, medals are important and they're all going to pick up one today. But I would fully encourage every single one of them to look back at the video from today. Pick up what the crews in front of them are doing well. Have a little look at what they're doing as well to see what they could improve on. It's all we ever did as kids. Just continually picking up and learning how to make boats go really, really fast. And whether that's in a gig, whether it's in a flash boat, whether that's in a, an eight foot punt tied to a rock on the beach, you know, ultimately, we've got to get more kids into rowing. We've got to get more to keep them in rowing. And we've got to do more to make them row well. Because ultimately, there is real joy in rowing a boat really, really well. Foy now about to come down into contact with Brunel Green. You can start to hear the crowds on the beaches cheering for them. Beaches, it's a green. And they're now probably 250 meters from the line. And you can see they're really nicely together here. As the drone shot goes over the top of them. And they just enjoy the flat water here for what's gonna be their last 20 or 30 strokes. And it's that phase where you just push a little bit harder and just allow the boat to run out that little bit more. With loads of control, effortless rowing really making the boat sing along and you can hear the loud hailer on the side there and our resident junior coach on the stream team here gives her her cheer to her crew as she sees them over the line i'm sure she's gutted she's not coxing them today but here they come through the line foy under 16 mix champions 2024 And through the line they go. There's the hooter. And I've just been told that Monty can do the dishes later. But the oars go up, rightly so. There's a great picture there as always. 
Foy A under 16 champions for the mixed two years in a row and they're followed up by the silver medalists from Dart and Dart are cheered through the line by everybody else and these are our silver medalists there we go Dart under 16 silver medalists they're giving a clap by Foy as well. Great sportsmanship on show. And then we will wait for Rain, this under 14 crew out for their first race to come through the line and rightfully pick up their bronze medals. Dart probably still 250 metres away, just coming through the end of Brunel Green. You can hear the green start to cheer for them. Here come Rain, bronze medalists. 2024, over the line they go. And we have our under 16 mixed final wrapped up. First place Fourier, second place Dart, and third place Rain. We will be back with you live shortly for the next final this afternoon.